my curls look so good at their popping. Welcome to Life with Noobs. <laughs> What's up, noobs fam? Welcome back to Life with Noobs. So for today's video, I am going to bring you along on a hair care routine. So I'm going to be trying some new products and some other products that I already know work well for my hair. I know I have a ton of different textures. I have some that are 3C, I have some that are 4A, some that are 4B, all the way to 4C. So it's a whole mix up up in here. <laughs> If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and give this video a big thumbs up. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go and start the hair care routine. Let's get started with step number one, which is a scalp exfoliation. So I'm going to use this. I won't say the name because last time I said the name and I got copyrighted. <laughs> I've never used it before, but I love that they have ingredients like uh, glycerin. Glycerin is actually good for your hair. It does help to moisturize it and I have really dry hair so I'm gonna use that glycerin. But they do have aloe in here, some peppermint oil. That is great for the scalp. Usually I just use a little bit of peppermint oil and some almond oil mixed and just let it sit in my hair for 20 minutes. I love to read ingredients because you know can't just put any and everything in your hair. <laughs> my hair's a little bit crazy right now. That's why I'm doing my hair care routine. So don't judge me. <laughs> As you can see, my hair is really dry right now so it definitely needs a lot of hydration. So we're gonna do that so that these curls are a poppin'. So I am going to start off by dividing my hair or sectioning my hair off. It is already pretty much parted in the middle. And so I am just gonna divide that and just put away half of your hair on the side and some little ponytail bun, whatever it is. So let's work on this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my rat tail comb and divide it again. And so I did not detangle my hair before this. And because my hair is thick, <laughs> um, it may take some time to detangle in the shower. We're going to put away this half right here, or I should say a quarter. And I'm just going to make a little bun. So I'm going to twist it and just put it up so that it is out of the way. I'm going to use my spray bottle to add a little bit of moisture. And the moisture will just help get the scalp treatment all through my scalp. So it's just a little buddy. Give this some spray. Let's work that in just a little bit. So I'm gonna, again, divide this in half. My hair is so naughty right now. Okay, so that is in half. See, some people like to do perfectly clean lines. Ain't nobody got time for that, so <laughs> do you. If you like to do clean lines, go for it. If you're rushing because you have 10 million other things to do whatever gets it done that's what works we're gonna go ahead and take this scalp treatment right here i'm going to open it let's see what it smells like oh it smells like peppermint and a bunch of other stuff mixed <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of that on my scalp so you can see. Ooh, look at that yummy, good, good. And just massage it. Just massage it like that. There we go. You can keep sectioning your hair off with a rat tail comb, but I'm just gonna do it the lazy way. There we go. 
just massage it again and just keep doing that throughout your entire head to make sure that your entire scalp is covered and especially if you have thick hair like I do I have so many hair follicles I don't know what happened <laughs> I'm not complaining <laughs> but um sections are key if not it will not go to your scalp so I'm just gonna put a little um twist and bantu knot right here and you can just attach it with a clip and move on to the next section so do the same exact steps <laughs> don't want to use a pre-made scalp treatment that is more than okay um, I would suggest using a little bit of peppermint oil you can mix it with some almond oil um, add a few drops of lavender oil yeah and then you're good to go the last section of the hair oops water is going everywhere strain this down with the water bottle sectioning it sectioning it <laughs> try to say that three times sectioning it sectioning it se yeah no so sectioning it off still can't even say it <laughs> we're dividing it putting a little bit of scalp treatment Make sure you rub a dub dub. Now that we have all of the scalp treatment sectioned off in the hair, I'm just gonna take out my hair and just massage my scalp. Look how much hair I have. It's a lot. You can't really see it that well. Take this side out. Yeah, get that fro going on. Get that fro going on. Hey, 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 peace. We got my scalp feeling nice and tingly. Just go ahead and keep massaging. FYI, when you massage your scalp, it actually stimulates new growth. So if you do want your hair to grow a little longer, I'm not saying drastically, just a little bit. Definitely massage the scalp. Show me what your mama gave you. <laughs> I'm having a little too much fun here. Uh, I am going to leave this in my hair for at least 20 minutes, okay? So when I leave it in my hair, I can just separate it in two. I'll do one side here. I'm just gonna take a clip clip it together there's one side take another clip clip that as well just as long as it stays i am going to take a plastic cap i just bought this from the dollar store put that over my head You're gonna look like an alien, that is okay. So I have so much hair, I can't even get the thing over my head completely, but it's going to do the job. It's just keeping the heat from my head inside the plastic bag, and that'll help speed up the process and really get the product to work in my scalp so that it's feeling fresh, clean, brand new. I also have this heating cap. Nothing special. It's just kind of made, it looks like tin foil, really. Um, so I'm going to place that over top. And it just really helps to keep the heat in and like I said, work faster. So I am going to do some cleaning, some laundry, do what I gotta do, and I will see you in 20 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Okay, noobs fam, I am back. I actually kept in the scalp treatment for 40 minutes. 
uh, cleaning takes longer than expected, <laughs> as always. So I am going to go ahead, I'm going to take this off. Yes, look at that moisture. Ooh, shiny scalp. When I'm in the shower, I like to use a wide tooth comb to detangle. And then after I go in with my Deadman brush, usually when I have conditioner in my hair. So I put some shampoo, I'm picking out my hair to detangle some of it. And then once I leave the conditioner in my hair for about, I would say at least 10 minutes with hair as thick as this, five minutes ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> so at least 10 minutes and even longer if you can. And then use your Denman brush to definitely go through your hair. It gets out all the knots and it just helps to define the curls. So Noobs fam, I just finished washing my hair. It is nice and clean. You can see how defined the curls are. Uh, note to self, don't wash your hair with makeup on. I don't know if you can see, but like it's red and it burns because the mascara just kept getting in my eye. So just a side note. While it is still wet, let's put some um, leave-in conditioner that is key to try to keep in the moisture. Uh, and then after the leave-in conditioner, I'm just going to put a curl enhancer and I'm actually going to braid my hair so that it's easier during the week. I don't have to do anything with it, but take out the braids and then I get nice waves. So let's put in some leave-in conditioner. So in the shower, I use the Papaya Caster Scalp Cleanser and that is by Eden Body Works right here. And then I use the Earth Tones Naturals uh, curl condition. So that is a super hydrating conditioner. So I use that. This is not sponsored, just sharing. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in some leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead with the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. Um, and I am just going to leave that in there. This will help to hydrate. It's a butter, so it's a bit thick. Now, butters will cause frizz, but since I'm braiding my hair, it doesn't really matter. Let's go in. I need a lot of product. And just work that in there. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Now, I like to use a spray bottle and to re-wet the hair, just so one, it minimizes frizz, and two, it just helps spread the product even more. And then you're just going to do that for your entire head. Just make sure to really work it in there, especially if you have, if you have super thick hair, like me. <laughs> Focus on the ends because the ends tend to get very dry and it smells so good. Mmm, yes, the aroma. <laughs> now for thicker hair to keep the curls, so if for example I wasn't going to braid my hair afterwards, uh, I would definitely put in a gel. So I'm going to show you the gel that works so well for my hair. It's really hard to find a gel that will not crunch, um, that will not flake, um, but will also hold because there are so many gels that don't do that, but then they don't hold. So I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> um, so I am going to show you which gel I love. There we go. Get under there. That side is done. Scrunch it up. Make sure you get all the moisture. Oh yeah. I usually like to air dry. I do have a diffuser, but I feel like the diffuser doesn't always keep the curls defined. It causes some frizz. Mind you, I'm not walking around with a wet head all day, um, so it depends. If you want a little more volume and maybe less length, then go for the diffuser. If you want to keep that length, I would say air dry. I use Myel. It is the Honey Ginger Styling Gel. 
and it works wonders i'm telling you like yeah <laughs> i love it <laughs> so let's go ahead i'm not going to go through my hair completely and define each curl i'm just going to give it somewhat of a curly look uh, because i'm going to braid it after thing with having a lot of hair is you need so much product <laughs> so you go through it pretty quickly so let's see and this smells so nice as well look at the length already just with this i didn't even go in and add more water the curls are so defined they're beautiful okay and yeah like that's just masterpiece now you know what i'm kind of debating whether or not i should even do braids i'm like i kind of feel like maybe rocking the curls hmm we'll see so water again is key it is your best friend when it comes to defining your curls now i could really go in piece by piece and do smaller sections um but again ain't nobody got time for that and i have so much hair that this already takes so long so i'm just doing it the lazy way but the way that works so if you're like me try it out guys the length i'm telling you how short it looks at first and how it just elongates is is mind-blowing shrinkage is real oh yeah look look do you see the juiciness like i'm telling you it's beautiful beautiful <laughs> Noobs fam. So I just finished with the gel and you can see that the curls are defined. They are hydrated and now I'm just going to let it air dry. Now heads up, it usually does take between I would say a good four hours minimum, um, especially if you have really thick hair. Yeah, otherwise you can diffuse. You might lose a little bit of length. Oh my curls look so so good at their popping. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now I'm just going to let it dry and then I will show you the final look. So noobs fam, my hair is relatively dry. I would say in the back, it's still a little wet, but it's been four hours and it is now 11 p.m. So a girl's got to sleep. I gotta give a shout out to my girl Zainab. It was my birthday and she got me, drum roll please, look at these Life with Noobs bags. That is adorable. This is like the sweetest gift ever. So like I can just go around, go shopping and be like, guys go check out life with noobs so thank you zainab i'm so happy this made my day thank you for joining me i hope you took some tips and tricks from my hair care routine and maybe you can add it to yours i would say it works and as you can see the curls are defined and looking great thanks for joining me and i will see you in the next video bye Life with noobs.